Representative Brad Buckley is looking to change the language of a current state law, which says only cities adjacent to military installations receive reimbursement from the state because of veteran tax exemptions. Channel 6 News reporter Barry Roy has more from Austin. Yeah, good evening. House Bill 634 sits before the Appropriations Committee as the city of Harker Heights stares down the barrel of $1.6 million in revenue loss. Qualify under current law. State Representative Brad Buckley continues to bring House Bill 634 to the forefront during this year's legislative session in hopes of changing the language of Chapter 140, a reimbursement program for cities impacted by tax relief for 100% disabled veterans. You know that we fully support. This fiscal year, Harker Heights is to forego over 18% of the city's total property tax revenue. It's an unintended consequence of the program. Uh, uh, the original legislation didn't contemplate uh, that a community may not directly touch a military installation and have significant impact. $1.6 million. The mayor of Harker Heights, Spencer Smith, says the financial shortfall impacts everyone. That $1.6 million are things that could be spent on infrastructure like roads, sewer, water, but also on public safety. Revenue losses, according to Harker Heights, have an average increase of 31% per year. And while the losses pile up and possible budget cuts loom, Fort Hood could be at risk of receiving a lower base rating, another unattended consequences. At some point those budget cuts may could become severe enough that it impacts basic services. And so now you have a lower quality of life and should a future base realignment and closure commission come up, you could actually have a lower rating of the base because of the lower quality of life that surrounds it. As for Mayor Smith, when asked what his next move if this should fail. Backup plan is that we got to be really as we go into budgeting you know, if this continues like that, we get look at services and things that we have to do. We have to, and again, in the out years, it's, uh, it's not a pretty picture. I asked Representative Buckley how he thought today went in front of the committee with all the public comment. He called today successful, certainly something that we will continue to follow and bring the very latest as this bill continues to develop. Reporting in Austin, Barry Roy, Channel 6 News. All right, thanks, Barry.